Good evening. It's over. The armed siege that has captivated the nation's attention for weeks has reached a dramatic conclusion. In the woods of Oregon, the final anti-government protesters occupying a federal wildlife refuge have surrendered to the FBI. It comes after tense all-night negotiations heard live by tens of thousands of people across the country who listened to every heart-stopping moment play out. NBC's Joe Fryer is in Oregon and starts us off with late details. Tense moments on the 41st day of the wildlife refuge occupation, all of it broadcast live online. Coming out. After three holdouts turn themselves in, the fourth and final occupier, David Fry, refuses to surrender. I'm a free man, I would die a free man. Before finally, peacefully giving up. If, if everybody said hallelujah, I'll come out. He ate a cookie, asked everyone to say hallelujah. When they said hallelujah, he came out. The FBI closed in on the occupiers last night, a dramatic development that was also live streamed with tens of thousands listening. Come out with your hands up. No, we're not. You're going to have to kill them. But let's be clear. Armed occupation of federal property is a crime. It is not a peaceful protest. Among those negotiating with the group, Reverend Franklin Graham, son of Billy Graham, and Nevada State Assemblywoman Michelle Fiore. Never lost faith. I came here with a mission, and the mission was accomplished. Armed militants took over the Malheur National Wildlife Refuge nearly six weeks ago, protesting federal ownership of Western lands. Two weeks ago, one occupier was shot and killed in a confrontation with law enforcement, and several others were arrested, including Ammon and Ryan Bundy. Last night, their father, Clive and Bundy, was also taken into custody after landing at the Portland airport. He was not part of the occupation. Rather, his arrest stems from an armed standoff with law enforcement two years ago in Nevada, a battle over unpaid grazing fees. Now, Clive and Bundy faces several felony charges and joins his sons behind bars. Well, the occupation is over, the refuge will still be closed for weeks. The sheriff calls it a crime scene. The FBI says it must be searched for explosives. In all, 25 people linked to the occupation have now been indicted on federal felony charges. Lester. Joe Fryer in Oregon. Th hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.